In the previous video we learned how to take guides from the top of the operator stack and collapse them into an edit guides operator, thus effectively baking them down. In this one we will learn how to do the same thing, but instead of going up of the stack we are going to go down from the stack. So this might be useful for various scenarios, uh, one of them would be to simplify your operator stack by capturing some effects from below the stack, but there is an even more interesting application to this, which is for simplifying dynamics and kind of reducing the complexity of your hair while at the same time keeping all of the changes that you have done to it previously. So let me demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about. I have my basic setup here, I have some guides growing straight out of the scalp here, and at this point there is nothing magic, but we can complicate this hair a little bit by may maybe adding a little bit of uh, curling to it. So I'm just gonna add this curling over here, and right now we have 10 points per each guide. And this is important because these 10 points give it some kind of detail that are giving some definition to these curls. However, on top of this curl node, let me add a detail operator and let me reduce the point count to just 3 points per hair. Once I do that, you can see that the fidelity of the shape has been lost because we only have 3 points to work with and the hairs can no longer keep their curlness. And on top of this detail node, let me add some operator such as dynamics. And if I simulate the hair, you can see that the simulation is very simple and we just get these two segments that are part of each strand. And in some cases, this might be very desirable because you want your simulation to be simple and you want all those curls that are previously present inside of your hair to be preserved while the dynamics should not really take them into consideration. So on top of this dynamics node, I'm going to add another strand detail operator and I'm going to bump the hair count back to 10 points per each strand. So now we're back to the same point count as we were at the start of our operator stack, but we still do not have any curls present on this hair. So let's get those curls back. I'm going to add another edit guides operator on top of this and then I'm going to go and disable all the operators before it that are undermining our curls. So this dynamics node and two detail nodes which reduced and increased the count of the points per strand are turned off and we can see our original curled hair. So what I'm going to do now is go into this uh, strand mode over here and I'm just going to select all of the strands, they're already selected uh, for me, and I'm going to go into the transform and ever so slightly move the strands. This operation is important because it captures some kind of change per each strand and we need to have that. I just move them like by one millimeter and this is really all you need. Once I've done this, I'm going to go back to my operator stack and I'm going to re-enable the three operators which I have previously disabled. So let me re-enable the detail, dynamic, and then detail again. So now at this point we are back to having straight guides because we lost the fidelity in the shape of the hair. But what we do now is press this retarget changes button. Once I press it, we get those changes back onto the guides. And the beautiful part about this is that if I re-simulate my dynamics at this point, you can see that the curls are back onto the guides even though the dynamics are only being simulated on two segments per each strand. So this way we are able to preserve curls and any other details on top of your strands while being able to do something to them with way fewer points. For example, instead of the dynamics node, I can get rid of it. I, I can go back to this details node and I can add another edit guides node. You can see that we're dealing with pretty straight hairs here and I can go and brush this uh, hair. And I'm only brushing three points, but I'm preserving the curliness of the hair that was done before this detail node over here. So anyways, this is uh, a very useful trick for your hair if you want to do some kind of advanced work that requires you to have a lot of detail, uh, but then you want to do something that requires hairs to be simple. And this basically allows you to capture the detail of your guides at some point in your operator stack and then restore this detail at another point. And it doesn't really matter what you do in between, so long as you bump up your hair points to a decent value at the top. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.